Hi everybody, I just wanted to introduce you to Peerless Watercolors. This is the first episode of Rhea Recommends, which tomorrow, March the 14th, will be at r, &R Scrapbooking from 4.30 to 7.30, where you can drop in and touch and feel this stuff and see what it's all about, see if it's for you, and uh, give it a try before you buy. So this is the Peerless Watercolor Paint Book. This is the complete edition, the one that was back in, as it says here, 1902. So it's very, it's a very old um, style of translucent uh, watercolors. So it's a little different than some other uh, watercolors. These are the colors. Now, for example, this, lots of the colors look like this, but the true color is on the back. This is a full, um, full set that I've not cut open yet or cut up. And uh, so lots of them look like that, but really they're like this. So what I've done, that's a new set. So what I've done is taken one piece of nine by 12 uh, watercolor paper and cut little squares out. So uh, just made myself a little palette and I have done this, this is one of my ones that I've chopped up and given to friends and um, given to people waiting in hospitals and that sort of stuff. And I really love this because it's so portable. Literally with this, which is like whisper thin, it's a piece of cardstock or watercolor paper, you are on the go. So you just throw that into a page protector with some stamped images and a water brush. Um, I mean, I have fancier brushes, but for the vast majority of what I do, this works just great. So what I thought I would do is show you, now I'm gonna give a disclaimer, I am no expert, but I painted this little guy. It's, mm, I believe three by four or thereabouts. It's a penny black stamp and uh, it was super duper easy. And if you would like, I can show you quick how to do it. And, um, or what I did. You can do whatever. And all I have over here is a little, either a, a Kleenex or baby wipe or something like that. So I'll just get started here. I'll try to be quick about it. I haven't done this uh, videoing before. This is Wisteria Violet. Now again, these are the original 15 colors here. Whoops. And then... These ones over here are extras that I added in that I use quite a bit because there are other sets than just that complete, what they call the complete edition. So this is just wet. You can just sort of see, maybe. And the first thing I'm gonna do is just grab a little bit, and this is just Canson watercolor paper. And I just do little bits. I hope you can see that okay. And I just slowly blend it out. Now, if you'll notice, I'm not squeezing my barrel. I'm not getting any more water going in. And you could quite feasibly just do that. And it does a nice little blend. Um, but what I like to do is then turn it the other way and grab a little bit of the deep blue or any other. I mean, you can blend any two colors. And they just sort of blend back in. If you go, ooh, that's terrible. Well, you just take some out too. And, or then go back in with this the other way to make it a little darker. And they do blend really, really well, if you'll see how, how that does. Okay. So again, just gentle little round rubbing kind of motion. And again, I'll just, I'll put this here so you can kind of see where we're headed. And then just a tiny bit. Now these colors last a really, really long time. Like this palette um, I've had for several years and I reach for it often. Okay. Yeah, 
I probably could do all the purple at once, but, um, and, and you can if you want. There's no rules with this, so I want you to know that this is one of those types of paints that, um, you know, it's very forgiving because it's translucent. Just like lots of other watercolors, though, you can, um, if you're not happy with the way it it is you can just go back and wet it a little and or just you know just grab a an actual tissue and uh, go in and take some out so say this area here I just wanted it a little lighter you can just dab it and there you go so yeah these ones are coming out a little bit lighter but I'm doing them maybe with a slightly lighter hand Oh, you know what? I'll show you what happens when you just sort of go out the lines. I'll kind of do that deliberately there. Okay. So for this, and, and I don't know if it's this paper that I like to use or not, but you can almost go in and just erase it just with plain water. And there you go. I did some on both sides there. Now, for me, um, I mean, I have a lot of products. I've got markers and pencil crayons, and I think maybe because I end up crafting a fair bit late at night or on the go, I tend to reach for these. Um, they're a nice, predictable finish, and I find it very relaxing. But again, if that's a little bit... And then after you can come in with more of the purple if you want that a little darker. And here we go. This one. So you can see it's also much quicker than some other methods. Pencil crayons take longer. Um, myself, I find with pencil crayons a little too, well, it's probably me. I'm not a I always said I, I could not color. I was not a colorer. I couldn't make anything look nice until I kind of found my groove with these. And then I'll go in with, I'm gonna leave that there. Um, I'll just use some of the light green. And I'm sure that there's way better techniques to do this with, but um, I, I mean, I'm sure some of you have watched, well, what's her name, Micheline or something, she's incredibly talented, and I watch her, it's like watching art, you know, just in motion, and she's so talented. Um, it's, I try to duplicate what she does, and sometimes it works, and but never, never as good as what theirs is. So I just wanted people to see that this is totally doable and accessible for pretty much anybody. And just go around like that. And you can kind of tell when you just need to chop off a new little piece from your booklet. Again, that's something even that if a couple people wanted to share, you know, with a friend, just chop some off and make yourself a, um, <clears throat> a new little booklet for somebody else. It's a wonderful gift to give somebody who's going on holidays or, um, you know, somebody's going to do a lot of sitting. People with kids, I guess everybody. Anyone has doctor's appointments and hospital visits. And so that's the actual painting. And then with this, um, you can just add a little bit of, oh, that's a little bit not what I wanted to do. That paper is very forgiving. You can just wet it up here. Go in with a little bit of the sky blue. 
and just juice up a little bit of backgroundy blue. Hope you haven't been too bored. I probably should learn how to do the editing and the forwarding and the fast forwarding, speeding it up. No, uh, Jennifer McGuire, I am not. Like I said, you guys are my first victims, but I did want to make it accessible for people who couldn't make it into the store tomorrow. <clears throat> um, Peerless also has a really great starter set for $4 that has um, eight colors. Now I left that one at work because I was fiddling around with that there. Again, you know, if there's anything that you're not liking, you just wet it up and erase it. Okay. I know I must have got, you know, anytime you do brush -o or something like that in your craft room and it gets on paper, it's a little bit messy. But just wanted to give it a little bit of a backgroundy color. But, but certainly didn't have to. Okay, so um, there you go. That's your quick introduction to Peerless watercolors. I, I hope you'll give them a try or pull out maybe some other watercolors that you have and tackle some, some you know, some stamps that maybe you hadn't been using because they seem daunting to color with. Um, I'm just maybe one sec. So tomorrow I'm going to have uh, ready for people to come and try one of these. So this one, this one, or that one. I'm willing to come and give it a go. I don't know what I got on there. Obviously some, oh, I'll bet you I know what I did. Anyway, I had some brush and stuff on this table and it's migrating, but that's okay. I can clean that off. And if not, it's a happy accident, right? I don't remember what the actual Bob Ross situation is for that. So anyway, I think that looks similar-ish. It's easy to duplicate and fun to do. I hope to see you tomorrow. And if not, give it a try. Thanks very much for spending some time with me today. And enjoy the rest of your evening.